Welcome! This cactus is an astrophytum. It is a hybrid, which means a flower from one astrophytum species was pollinated with pollen taken from a flower from a different astrophytum species. I'm not sure what the original species were to produce this particular hybrid. It is in bloom. A few years ago, I would have thought that it is very difficult to make a cactus bloom, to make it produce a flower. Now I know that it is quite easy, but certain conditions have to be met. A cactus has to be put in a cold space and has to be kept completely dry over the winter time. And then when warmer temperatures are coming, it can be taken out of the cold spot, put either outside or on a south facing window, and then it can be watered and then it will bloom. So it's not really that difficult, except one has to be very strict following, uh, following this rule. No water and cold temperatures over winter. I made a video about Euphorbia obesa a few weeks ago, and I would like to show you this Euphorbia obesa again, and to show you how similar they are. They look almost identical. They are in different pots, of course, and they have different flowers. Euphorbia obisa is not in bloom now, but it has, it has uh, flower buds. The flowers are completely different, but the shape of the plant is almost identical. And this phenomenon that two different species for two, from two different parts of the world that live in similar conditions, that occupy the same or very similar niche, will have the same, will develop the same shape. This is called convergent evolution. Having uh, the smallest surface area possible is a very efficient adaptation to drought, to lack of water, to dry conditions, and this is exactly what those two species uh, achieved. Small surface area, uh, almost circular shape, which is the, the ratio of the, of the volume to the surface area is the smallest in, uh, in a sphere. So spherical shape, and uh, that's why these plants, one from North America, the cactus, the other one from Africa, Euphorbia obesa, they look very similar and yet they are very distantly related or not related at all. In my video about Euphorbia obesa, I showed you a close-up of the flowers. Euphorbia obesa is a dioecious species, which means Female flowers are on a different specimen than male flowers. Cactus has both male and female organs in one flower, and I will show you a close-up of this flower in a moment. So this is the flower when we look into it from a little bit closer. And this is how the flower looks even closer than that. And I will show you the pollen in a moment. And this is the flower even deeper inside. It's just a really beautiful plant, as beautiful as all other plants are. There is nothing more or less beautiful in this flower than in flowers of other plants. 
Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.